guys just got done watering um <clears throat> I still have one more that's soaking but I want to check out uh, orchid roots in the lava rock throughout the summer I started potting up everything in lava rock um I don't know about a month or so into summer I want you to check out these roots and they're all like this just about except for a few that I was having some issues with but they're coming along now but <clears throat> these plants really love the lava rock and river rock I have them in river rock also I just love these roots. This here, Dendrobium amasmon, is in, um, because they were kikis, I still have them in a little bit of bark, a little bit of river rock on top, and then some moss, just to help keep some of the moisture in. But this amasmon is an all lava rock, and river rock and she is really growing really well and this ain't Greek um, I put her in river rock this summer as soon as I got her she is loving the lava rock her roots are just everywhere now, I do keep trays underneath the stuff that I have in lava rock. Since I brought them in the house, it helps keep the humidity and the moisture around everything. That way I'm not having to water everyday beans that are back in the house in my grow room. Um, Evander Roots, her uh, spike died back, so hung her up the wrong way. There we go. So I cut her spike off and this plant here is my Neopanisa Falcata Pecleontre Therese and her roots are doing really good. Oh my gosh I can't see through the jungle but you can see her roots down in there. They are all looking like that. Looking really good. Here is my Balanopsis. She has two spikes. There's the one. And then she has another one peeking out under the sleeve. But as you can see, you can see her roots down here in the lava rock and river rock. All of doing really good. That is my Dendrobium Lodosii. She is in lava rock and a little bit of river rock on top. She's doing really well. My Brassavola Jimmy Cricket is doing really well. You can see all the roots down in here. I got new growth popping up everywhere. She's doing really good. Another fowl in River Rock. Her roots are doing good. Here's another one in River Rock. A lot of her roots are down to the bottom, but she has a spike right here. More fowls in River Rock. I just love the roots. This one has made a secondary root off of the original. My dendrobiums I have in River Rock. Um, they are all doing well. They're growing. The roots are 
right down in here. They're not really showing up very well, but doing good. My den fell. Doing good. Turn my light on, maybe that'll help. There's all her roots in there. I have more dendrobiums back here in the river rock. They're all doing really good. Another dendrobium and river rock. They're all doing really good. See the roots down there. Another fowl in river rock. This is the kiki that she's growing. She can, you know, her root, I almost lost her. So she is doing really well now. You can see another fat root over here. Another phalaenopsis down here. Look at all her roots. And I, I got her in uh, lava rock and river rock and then some, some of the glass marble because I started running out of river rock, so, or I mean lava rock. So, you know, everything is doing really well. There's another foul in river rock. Her roots are doing well. My Zygo, her blooms all withered up and fell away, so I cut her spike off so she could finish growing those new start, new uh, bulbs that she's growing. I think it lasted about a month, but it was just, it was humid, it was cooler in the evenings, you know, it was just crazy. Look at my Neophenicia. Her roots are just going crazy. Cannot wait to see some blooms off of her. She is just in all moss in a, ba in a basket. My new orchid is doing really well. She is growing a new root right there. Right there. And that is my Sidon Fidenia Matretta. I thought she is a really neat looking plant. Another Vanda family. And then I have all my mini fowls. They're all up here in River Rock. These are some that I was having some issues with. But after I planted them in the river rock, they all kind of started taking off and doing a little bit better. So I'm happy with that. My Oncidiums, I have them all in river rock and they're doing really well. I've got a lot of new growth. I've got some great roots coming out. You can see like this one back here. You see her little root popping out. This little twinkle, she is in bark and moss. I didn't want to disturb her because she had just got repotted. And then this one here, trying to bring back. She is in bark and moss. This on Sidium mini twinkle. I almost lost over the summer. I put her down in some lava rock and river rock. And look at all the new growth she's got. Look at that. More dendrobium kikis. They're all in lava rock and river rock. They're all doing really good. That is my Dunfell uh, Verona Sunshine or Sunday. I think it's Sunday. No, nope, it is Sunshine. You can see the roots, new growth, new roots and new growth. Everything's doing really well. I'm very happy with the lava rock and the river rock. It works well for me because I do like to water. And being that I put trays under everything, See how it's holding the water. I've been doing that ever since I brought them in. 
you know, I mean, even look at my uh, catlias. They're all in lava rock and river rock. Look at that root growth. And this here is the one that I almost lost. I could not get her to do anything until I sat her down in the lava rock and river rock. Roots galore, new growths. I got this one here, that's my last one I have soaking. Her roots are going crazy. She's got new growths everywhere. I wish they would bloom. But yeah, everything's doing really well. It was a really good choice for me to move everything into lava rock. A Cathopelium is doing really good. This one has really shaped up nicely. She's got nice firm leaves. She's got a new leaf coming out here. A new leaf coming out back there. This one's still kind of sad looking, but it is hanging in. Kingianum, Dendrobium, I've got growing in pretty much just water culture. And great gum. So yeah, just a look at, at the, how these roots have just taken off. Because, you know, I was, I was over watering and I just about killed all of my fowls. You know, it was kind of crazy. But I like to water plants, so there you go. The lava rock saved my plants. And with all the feed and being outside all summer, everything is really looking good and I am so happy. I've got more in my living room, but I'm not going to show you guys all that. You get the point of... So, alright, there you go. You guys have a great day. I am finally done watering all the plants in my house. It's taken me all morning. It is about 1 o'clock, I think. So, whew. You guys have a great day. Catch you later. Bye.